They have him or something. What is going on, everybody? You see what time it is, man? We ain't done some pentatonics in a minute, bro. Probably because I keep getting copywritten by them. I'm not even gonna be mad at y'all, pentatonics. I'm not even mad at you, Kevin, but like, talk to your label. I'm trying to react to your stuff and I can't, okay? I can't, this is like the third time this happened, help! But uh, <laughs> look, I'm a, that's how much I like y'all. Even though I'm not making any money off this, because I can't, kinda. I still, you know, this is by the way, this is where the super thanks and uh, the super chats and the comments and the donations and joining my channel and all that. This is where all that comes into play. Just so you all know, I don't make any money when these videos get copyright stricken and a lot of them do. React channels are hard to do on YouTube for that reason. It's why many people don't do it. So anything y'all can do, it helps the kid. Let's uh, enough of that, enough of my, my panhandling. Let's get into handling some of this Kevin, Kevin's fifth. This next part of the show, is so mind-blowing. It's all about Kevin Alushala, our beatboxer. And how- Kevin! And how unbelievably talented he is in every single way. It's incredible. I know a lot of you know this story, but for those of you who don't, Kirstie, Mitch, and I grew up in Arlington, Texas. That's where Pentatonix started with the three of us. And then we wanted to be on the show The Sing-Off on NBC 10 years ago, 11 years ago. Yes, sir. Well, I remember that. But we could not find a beatboxer anywhere, and the show was coming up fast. And in an act of desperation, we went on YouTube and we typed in beatboxers. That's funny how easy it could have been back then, man. Enter. It's too hard now. <laughs> <laughs> and the first video to come up, which happened to be going viral that week, was a video of Kevin playing cello and beatboxing simultaneously. Hmm. I remember that video. That's how we reacted as well. And we were like, oh my gosh, we found the guy, we found him, we found him. How do we message him? YouTube message? I didn't even know that was a thing, but we were like, let's try it. So we YouTube messaged him and we were like, hey man. Is that still a thing, YouTube message? If you're free, would you like, <laughs> would you like to fly across the country and audition for a TV show with some strangers? <laughs> and, uh, That's so cool. And uh, he was like, he actually responded. And he was like, you know, I normally would be so down. Like I love acapella, I've been in an acapella group before but I'm studying for finals to get my pre-med major at Yale. <laughs> <laughs> the list keeps going. I yeah, know, Kevin's I was a like, trip, bro. oh, same. <laughs> <laughs> very relatable, Kevin. So, <laughs> no, but I was like, okay, so that's a done deal. So we forgot about it, but then two weeks later, he messaged again, he was like, great news, got the pre-med major. Also, a doctor, a scholar. <laughs> and he was like, and I'm also down to fly across the country and audition for the show with you. So he did. And then we won the show and we haven't stopped for 11 years. Mm -hmm. And I'll, I'll leave it up to the imagination how the conversation went with his parents who are here tonight. Mm -hmm. I know I just got my pre-med major, but can I be a professional beatboxer? <laughs> um, anyways, he's about to do his cello boxing for you, which is what he did in the first video that we saw. So give it up for Kevin Alushala. Come on. Let's go, baby. Man, thank y'all so much. This has been such an incredible night. Like, we love y'all so much. And this is truly one of my fa- I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> And can I say, I, I have been excited for this show for a while because this is a hometown show for me. Uh, this is a hometown show for me. For those that don't know, I'm from Owensboro, Kentucky. That's where I grew up. <laughs> so Kentucky, thanks for making my band feel like we're at home right now. Thank you all so much. <laughs> So like Scott said, the band found me from a viral YouTube video. Literally, this is, a, this is me practicing cello in my dorm, and one of my friends, Jake Bruin, comes to me and says, have you ever thought about putting this, this thing that you're doing, this cello boxing thing on YouTube? So literally, we, we go to an old dingy basement in my college. He brings a video camera, and this is what I play for him. It's 
so nice. Talented, bro. Mm. Thank you. So that piece is called Julio by Mark Summer, who's part of the Turtle Island String Quartet, and that, that piece completely changed my life. I now have this amazing career with four of the most incredible people I know. And this cello boxing thing I've been doing now for almost 12 years, one of the things I've realized about it is that... I That's cool that they gave him his own, like, spot. Like, I don't know much about... Uh, the Christmas extravaganza. I know that's something that they've done a couple of times, right? Or more than that. But that's cool that, like, either one, they recognize, like, this dude's talent, like, individually uh, agnostic from the group, and or two, like, people would like to see him showcased. So that's pretty cool that they did this just in general. I'm doing now for almost 12 years. One of the things I've realized about it is that I actually love taking classical pieces and trying to reinvent them in my own way. So I thought tonight I'd play an excerpt of the Bach prelude from the cello suite number one. <laughs> I hope you all enjoy this. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, I like that one. Good, 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 good. Good on you, Kev. Good on you, Kev. <laughs> Thank you so much. That's cool. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh man, I thank y'all so much. This has been such an amazing year and you know, it feels like this journey is still not done. This, this past year I have been going deeper in my own soul, trying to be more vulnerable and figure out what I artistically want to say next. And this next piece that I've arranged and produced, I think is the culmination of that year long search. And you'll know the piece that this is based on and inspired by. This is called Kevin's Fifth. Hmm. Oh, so this is his own thing? Hmm. You composer now? You a composer, Kev? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, wait, here it is. Uh, oh, they got both of our people in that thing. Okay. Let's go, Matt. Jump pad. Shit Are we good? Can y'all see me? We good? We focus? Let's get to it. Is somebody recording this stream? <laughs> I love it. Hey, y'all, whoa, that's how I did. Hey, y'all ain't telling me that shit was popping like that. Y'all ain't telling me he was about to jam like that. But that is the coolest shit Kevin has ever done, bro. That is the coolest shit I've heard from him, bro. That overtakes all the stuff we've seen him do, uh, even with that Kiss from Rose and all that. That was fire. That was fire. Kevin Smith is fire, dude. Like, he created that. He composed that. That's all, like, Emmy customized. Wait, what is this? What is this? What is this? Surprise, we're gonna do more. I don't know what this is, but I saw it said Kevin's fifth and I'm into this right now. What is this? Okay, good, we're gonna do it again. We're running it back. Yeah. It, 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 uh, this is one of them videos, this is one of them videos.
That's cool. He got a black composer. It's kind of fire. Come on, man. What? Oh, that's right. Yep. Yep. What the hell was that we just saw? Bro, that was so damn fire, bro. Damn. That was fire. That was dope, bro. That was dope. Y'all told me that it was gonna be hot that Kevin's fifth. Y'all ain't told me it'd be volcanic, bro. You didn't tell me it'd be magmas, scorching, burning, singeing. That, bro, I'm done for the day. That shit got me too hype. I don't got nothing to say. That's cool as shit. The pentatonics cool shit uh, that Kevin ever did. I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't got nothing to say. Hey, bro, play at my wedding, dude. Peace. Nah, but <laughs> not nah, really though, man. Like, hey, I hope y'all like that. Y'all have fun. Do we have fun with that one? I thought I was just gonna do that one video. We combined them both. That's what we do around here, bro. We go off the script. We don't give a shit. That was nice, man. That was cool. <laughs> that was dope. That was dope. I, look, I hope y'all had as much fun as I did with it. If you are subscribed, you already knew we was about to have a good time when you saw that title. If you're not subscribed, keep missing out. Stand in the way of your blessing. That's your fault.
<laughs> like, comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. It really helps the channel. All the, you know, donations, super chat, you know, all, all that good stuff. All that helps me. I don't really make much off this. All the copyright, but we still upload this. As long as they don't block it, and I hope they don't because I have fun. So if I uploaded it, no, I'm excited. Okay, know that I got granted access. <laughs> and we're going to have a good time in the next video. So look, y'all. I'll see y'all soon. I'm hot. Bye. <laughs> Go speak, sir. Go speak, sir. Go speak, sir.